You've probably seen the uh, the great video YouTube video of uh, Ralph Mooney playing with Waylon Jennings uh, in a couple more years. Uh, just really fortunate to have that video because you get to see uh, Ralph close up and see what positions he's using and uh, he always plays the right notes for the song and uh, it's not that hard of a song you should be able to learn this break you, know, you don't need a lot of technique uh, except for the harmonics and that you should practice and if you don't want to play the harmonics you can play, them without, play the notes without the harmonics um, so we'll run through the scales that he uses. It's mostly uh, on the third and the fifth string, and uh, he's going between the fifth string or the fifth fret open and the twelfth fret uh, pedals down, which are the two main A positions. And then there's an intermediate one. We'll we'll cover that. We'll go through that scale and a couple of the other positions he uses, and then we'll break it down. We're going to use the fifth fret open, and then the the uh, 12th fret with the pedals down. And those are the two major positions and then most of the melody is you find on the this, this uh, real important scale which is this, the 3 uh, and 5 string scale. And uh, so we'll just run through it. Uh, we'll start here at the 5th fret which is usually the starting point is the open position so we'll start there and so it's it's 3 and 5 open. And then pedals down, up two frets, pedals down, three more frets up to the tenth. That's open at the twelfth, pedals down at the twelfth, and then it keeps going. And that's the fifteenth fret, that's three more further up without the pedals, and then up back up to the seventeenth fret. So that's the octave. So it's and uh, of course it goes the other way. So I'm just uh, here. This is open, uh, fifth, fifth open, third open. No frets open. And then pedals down. And uh, he uses another, a couple other positions besides those, uh, the, the main ones of the scale. He uses the seventh position for A, the seventh, uh, A seventh position, which is three frets up open uh, from the open position. So it's five would be here. And then he goes up to the, t uh, the eighth fret. And the reason that works is because uh, this note uh, the, on the fifth string is the is the seventh tone of the A scale. So here's A on the fourth string, two frets down. And here it is here at the eighth fret. And uh, it's really not that surprising because this is the uh, the open position. At five, and then if you go to the eighth fret and use A and F, which we're familiar with that, we have another inversion of A. And if you just take um, take the A pedal off, then you get uh, a, a, an A7. But we're only going to use two strings. That's three strings. We're only going to use two, and you don't need to engage the F lever which is the lever that raises the fourth and eighth strings a half a tone. Okay, so that's those are, and then there's one other position that's uh, not in the in that scale which is uh, tenth fret pedals down. And he uses that uh, when he's going from uh, from A to D. So let's just run through it here. So the the beginning is uh, starts out here um, at the A and F position at uh, the 8th fret. So here we are, home position, we're up here and we're going to squeeze the A pedal in, just the A pedal. 
So there's no, uh, we're not using any other pedal there, and you're starting with the A off and then adding it. And then you slide down. So um, that's just an added A and B pedal rock on and off. And then you go to the uh, fourth and sixth strings at the fifth fret, back two frets to the third, and back to three and five strings. They add the pedals, let them off, and then uh, there's a move where their pedals are on, and then they're, they're taken off and sliding back to the third. And then you have to cut that timing off, and then he starts. Uh, so what all that all that is is three and five. You're starting on the fifth string, one foot below the third foot. No pedals here. That's the that's the fifth string and the third string. And then uh, hit the fifth string again and slide up to the fifth foot. Hit the fifth, third string again. So we're adding the pedal there on the A pedal and and the B pedal on the third string. And then we're going to start going further up. So we're using that scale now. We're going up to the. Uh, this is the fifth. So it's the seventh. Then back up. Then up to the tenth off with the pedals and slide back and add the pedals and then keep the pedals on back to the fifth there so you're hitting three and five twice with the pedals on and letting them off and then the next little phrase is so that's Ross one of his favorite things to do is on and off that third string. I don't care how you finger that. I, I do it different ways every time I play it. But then there's an, a little backwards roll that follows. So after you do this, uh, that little thing on the, uh, the pedal on and off with the B pedal on the third string, hit the fourth string, and you start your forward roll, or backwards roll. So, fourth, fifth, sixth, and then again. So you do that three times. And then you have to be sure you count the time right here. You, you, this next little phrase starts at the 12th fret with the B pedal down. It starts on the second beat of the measure. So count the one and then do So it's eight, six, B pedal, five, four. Then pedal on uh, fourth, fourth and fifth. Uh, pedal on the A pedal. With, hit the fourth and fifth strings at the twelfth fret. Let them off. Then hit the uh, five and six with the pedals down. Slide down to five and release them. And then back up here. That's four and five with the pedals. On and off. And on again. And then you go back to the, you go down to the fifth fret. That's four and five. Five and six, four and five again. And that's four, that's three and five. We're going to jump up to that A seventh position. Three and five, no pedals. Slide it up to ten. I added the pedals and let them off. Back to eight. 
And then we're going to hit uh, the D chord there at uh, the tenth fret. And there's a series of harmonics, and I'm using my palm, so I, I'm looking to see. I want to, I want to do the harmonic at the tenth fret because I'm my bar is at the tenth fret, so that's a, the one I want. And so I'm looking to see where my palm of my hand is here, and it, I see it's at the tenth fret. So then I turn it over and I look to see where uh, the thumb is going to be. The first is on the fifth. Uh, And then it's uh, the the sixth, fifth, and fourth. And you can hit the harmonics with the back of your with the back of your fourth finger here, or the knuckle of your fourth finger. If you'd rather do it that way, or you can even do it with uh, using a pick uh, a pick and the thumb pick. whichever sounds best and you can do best and then the, uh, we're going to finish this up now and then it goes up to the just uh, five, five, four and three without the pedals that's three and five slide it up to twelve note pedals and then add the pedals let them off 10th fret, 3 and 5, without the pedals. So here we are at uh, the 12th fret with the A pedal. You don't have to use the A pedal, but I think it sounds a little better. And then hit it again. And slide back 2 frets. Back to the 12th fret with the A pedal and the 5th string. And then I go back to the 10th fret with the, a, uh, with the 5th string A pedal. So I started with it on, took it off and added, and then just come up and hit the 6th string. At the 12th. You can play with that, with or without it. And then he goes down to the fifth fret and ends that thing with a little, uh, just a little forward roll. So that's a five, six, five, and four. And then three and five. And then uh, go back a half or a whole fret, slide it up, and then add the A, a and B pedals. Third fret, three and five, no pedals, and then open at five, four, five, and six. And uh, that's how it goes. I'll tab it out and put it up on my website uh, with the link. I'll also put the link in for the video. You should really watch uh, watch Ralph play this because you can see all the positions he's playing. So it's really uh, an insight into what he's doing. Because a lot of those notes you could get at various places. But you can see how he's doing it. So that's an insight into the way he way he finds the melody notes. Thanks.